Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is January 14th, 2019, and this is our episode number 413. Today's randomly selected company is called Iguatemi. Iguatemi is a very well-known chain of shopping centers. I think they can, they might be the highest stand of, of shopping centers in Brazil, uh, catering really to, to people with... Uh, with uh, the high purchasing power here in the country. So uh, I've never been an investor and let's see why. First and foremost, the debt to equity is not extremely safe. I wouldn't say it's, uh, uh, we're looking at a red alert here by any means at 0.75 after the end of 2017, uh, but not super great. However, interestingly, uh, the liabilities to equity are almost the same as the debt. So in, in this regard here, Iguatemi seems very safe, as a matter of fact. With a current ratio of 2, we're inside the really the, what we want here, which is at least 2.0. 2 uh, what else? So they post profits year in and year out. So in 2017, they earned 220 million here almost. And on average, they have been posting 223 million. Uh, however, I think what really made me not invest was the price relative to this, because it seemed like it got to me was uh, quite fairly priced. So with a P10 of 23 here, after adjusting for inflation. Um, it, it's fine, but it's it's not anywhere near a bargain. Even if we consider this a super high, high quality uh, company, uh, not too cheap. So what we do today is we just continue learning about it. So. I don't think we have full year results for any company yet. So we'll use the third quarter of 2018. And in this case, we use the consolidated results and uh, the liabilities table should be around here. Let's see. Yep. So we start by the net equity. So uh, 28, 28, 2 million. 828 so it's actually interesting because here we see that the net equity was stated as 2752 so I don't know if they corrected or if I looked at the wrong one but this seems to be the consolidated so on we go. Now we get all liabilities. So uh, we get current liabilities 2.01 typically, in this case 303 million. And we add the non-current, which is typically 2.02. .02. So that's another 2 billion and 20. 23, 23. So equity went up by some, uh, liabilities went up by some. The ratio here should be pretty similar. Now we go to loans 2.01.04, 235 plus non current loans 1980, 22.15. And the debt seems to have been gone to have gone back up here by quite a bit. So we'll see. So here, here it is. So let debt to equity is 0 0.78. Again, we want debt to equity to be within 0 and 0 0.5. It's not. On we go. Current ratio now will be current assets, in this case, 740 million, divided by current liabilities, divided by 303, 2.44. So the current ratio is showing an even better number this time around. And now we move on to the results table and we look at revenue. 
So the accumulated revenue over three quarters here would be 521. And we can extrapolate that into four and it would be 695. So pro probably not too far from what it was in 2017. We'll see the fourth quarter. We see, we'll see how much of an impact that'll have. For Sigua to me, it's not a, a, a store. It, it, it's the shopping center itself, but they may have strong fourth quarters uh, as well. And profits of 184. So if we project that, that would be 245. And in terms of getting numbers here, the last one would be the free cash flow for now. So free cash flow flow will be operating cash flow 253 plus investment cash flow, which is in this case is minus 227. And we project that into a full year. So free cash flow will have been 35 million. So we only have four years here of free cash flow. And as you can see, the average is far below what is stated as earnings. So we would be well advised to do the following thing. So now I'm using this as a full year, even though it's a little bit of a projection and taking 10 from here. So we stop at 2009 now. So we discard 2008. So uh, to get the real multiple, we just need to update the market cap to, to a recent number. So 7 billion and 79 million. So as you can see, it went up along uh, pretty much with the rest of all companies. Yeah, this year. So it's, it was a year. It was a year where almost com almost all companies went up. So at this multiple here, and if you consider the free cash flow over the last four years here, uh, Iguatemi is better off put in the too hard pile of companies. So yes, it seems to be a pretty good company, pretty solid. I mean, for decades this company has been around. Uh, if you go to their malls, they're pretty good. Uh, and, you know, like the real estate they have is simply unbelievable. If they were to just tear down their malls and, and sell just the land there, they, they would make a ton of money uh, anyway. But the price here uh, at 30 times earnings, uh, that's like the, the let's, let's call it as like the problem, you know, it's a little bit expensive. Even, even if we were to go for like a wonderful company at a fair price, uh, uh, it's a bit of a stretch. And if you consider the alternatives, you simply may be able to find a handful of other companies that seem uh, a little more favorable when you weigh in quality of the company and how much you would have to spend to become their partners. So Iguatemi definitely want to be on the lookout for, just, just be following. And if for some um, weekly justified reason, it becomes uh, more uh, affordable, we might jump in and become their partners in the future. With that said, thank you very much. This does it for this episode. And if you're still here, uh, and you're not a subscriber, please be, consider becoming a subscriber by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button. And uh, regardless of that, I do invite you to watch our future episodes. I do invite you to watch our past episodes, of which we already have 412, with many kinds of Brazilian traded companies and a few uh, American traded companies as well. And if you have questions, suggestions, criticism, 
And especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a comment in the video and I'll write you back as soon as I can. Meanwhile, have a great day. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.